Hello! And indeed. Welcome back to the box room. So I've been downstairs. Where I have found... My Commodore radio. Which, of course, is not made by Commodore. It's made by Commodore. And indeed, the logo on here looks... With the typeface and all, looks quite similar. So I'm assuming that these are cousins. Anyway, all I could find downstairs that might help this is a tape by Elvis. I'm going to press play. And... I don't hear anything. Well, let me rewind. That seems to be going well. And I wonder what kind of jack I might need to plug into this. These things did not... Ooh. Now, the other thing is, I don't know if this tape has anything on it or not. I believe the fellow said the internal speaker wasn't very loud. And read. I cannot disagree with that assessment at this time, because I can hear nothing. Now, the other thing, of course, is I don't know. Like, I don't know that I've ever played this tape, so who knows? Maybe it's blank. You know what I'm going to do? Because I look around here, and I don't see that I have any headphone things here. I'm going to go and look for some. You should be able to hear me as I go, because I have a microphone on. I do. Andrew? What? I'm recording. But I think it's probably not anymore. What? Uh-oh. By how much? What's your percentage? What is your percentage? The percentage! Oh, okay. So you're still okay. All right, well, when I go back in here, I'll see if I'm recording still. Oh, maybe I am. Okay. Ugh. All right. So as you might have guessed, Andrew called. So you usually stop play while I'm doing things. on other things, and somebody calls when I'm recording, it knocks the recording offline. I'm going to turn this tape over. I'll try putting a clip on this side. And I hear Nothing. Well, once again, I don't know 
if this tape was blank or not. There is one thing I could do somewhere around here. Where did I put them? I had a whole box oh, of things for the VIC-20. And well, they will not make great listening. If I can find one, I should be able to tell me if this thing is playing. So I think it's over here, where I will find the box. It doesn't indeed have... Oh, my God, they're tight. All right. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh. Oh. All right, here we have tapes for the Big 20. Let's pull one out randomly. There should be something on here. There should be. Hello. Come on, Elvis. Come on, Elvis. So, we are rewound, I think. And we will put it in. Uh-oh. What's that noise? And we will press play. And I hear nothing. Now, I don't know which way the volume should be up or the volume should be down. I'm assuming when I crank it up, it should be working. When I crank it down, it should not. But I hear nothing. So I'm going to put this into the earphone thing. I'm going to rewind. I'm going to pop this out. There it is. It's there. Now, I suppose it's possible but I don't believe it. But this tape too is blank. But I don't believe it. And I know what it should sound like. If it is, in fact, a big 20 sort of thing. Well, perhaps this was not the smartest addition to the world of Commodore. Perhaps. Perhaps I need to, well, try the tape, that I, or the tapes in something else, and come back and try again. But I hear nothing, and I hear nothing. Maybe I need to look over the the ad again. I, I believe it said it doesn't work well. I don't believe it said it doesn't work. that out and I look at it and indeed I wouldn't even be able to record on here because it does have the things popped out I'm just pressing the play button Let's see yep the head comes out joyful joy 
rifle. Well, that's too bad. The radio right now works, although it's funny, the on off switch doesn't. So, um, the times that I would use it to tune into the Blue Jay games when the Blue Jays were playing before they imploded in a disaster, an epic disaster. Well, no, last year was an epic disaster. This year was a slow motion, miserable death. Um, anyway, the, the, the on off button doesn't work. So you have to make sure that if you don't want it on, you unplug it or you turn on or turn off the power bar. If I look at this, oh, there's a screw missing. I suppose if I was daring, I could take these two screws out. Let's see. It could be as simple as something oh, has come undone during shipping or not. And also, how much is this really going to open this up? By taking out these two screws. I don't know. There could be many, many more things that would keep it from opening up. Certainly there's a cord here. You know, I thought I should open this. That way the batteries are. There could be more places for more screws. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a screw in there. Is it coming out? I think it is, but it's not coming out. But I think I have Great. one of these. I gotta flip it and shake. And then it doesn't come out, but I think I've loosened it. Yeah, I must have because the thing is coming off. It's coming off. Well, here's the inside. And I don't know enough about this to do much with it, but it's interesting to look inside. Can I get this thing up? I can pull the cord through a little bit. So there's just a second here. This will be daring, but I will be daring. I'm going to squeak this down a bit. There we go. So there. I don't really need that in the way. There's the insides of this thing. And with more screw removal and such, I can probably, I can, I can see the speaker, but I can't really do much about it at this moment. And I can't really see enough unless this whole thing just lifts out and it does not. Like, I, as I say, I see the speaker. I know it's made by Pioneer. And I'm just looking to see if I can see if the wires are attached to it. Now, this is something that I think I might put back together. There's a fellow I know who knows a lot about such things, and he, at one point, worked at Comspec, and that was sort of even in the early days before they were so much into computers, but they did a lot of stuff with scanners and ham radios and things, maybe even some things 
that should not have been able to be done. Because back in the day, of course, scanners would, if they were properly or improperly um, sort of done, you could listen in to police things. And I'm not sure you were supposed to be able to. And I know that things were often modified. But he also worked there in the computer days. I know he did. So no harm, no foul. We'll put it back together, get the cord sticking here. And I suppose at this moment, I'll take this and the radio back downstairs put them in the pet room and I'll see maybe I will send this cassette player to him perhaps I will and these I will put back in the box there are many such things over there or maybe uh, uh, uh okay remember i said oh no 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 avalanches remember i said i was going to tidy up in here well i kind of started but i didn't quite finish i did not solid state cassette tape recorder this is a solid state radio It is. Oh well, as they say, back to the drawing board. And yes, I think I will send this off to see Phelps because he is a great tinker. I know just recently he was working on a very, 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 very old transistor radio that stopped working on AM. But it's working now. Imagine that. Yes, he often says, today people just throw things away. They don't believe in trying to fix things. Mind you, the companies are a lot like that, too. They say, oh, yeah, we can fix that for $700, or you can buy a new one for 150 Imagine. All right, well, that, I believe, as I shuffle out of the way, is enough for, of this for now. I will take these things downstairs. And I will continue to ponder. Oh, thanks for coming. Bye for now.